you were talking earlier about the, the, the demonization of Dion K that happened after he was killed by DC police. That seems to always happen when someone is killed by the police. But I don't know if you all saw this, but Dion K's mentor wrote an article talking about what he was doing with his life and the trajectory that he was on and the kind of human being that he was. Because to DC police, to our local government, you can't talk about someone's humanity when you have them killed by the police. They don't want to talk about that. And so Dion was someone who was, uh, he was talking with young people. He was trying to get his GED. He was doing the things that we say we want our young people to do. And to me, I'll be honest, I find it insulting that uh, when someone is killed by the police, people act like they're not worth fighting for or not worth mourning because they weren't a perfect victim. Listen, you only do that. People only do that when they would rather, they would rather kowtow, they'd rather bow and scrape to a police state than to fight for justice. And I find that disgusting. And we'll never get justice that way. There's no such thing. You can never be respectable enough for a racist system. You can never be respectable enough in a system that hates poor people. There's no such thing as being respectable enough in a system that destroys humanity as a matter of habit. And people are complaining, oh, the young people, oh, the culture. What about the culture of the police? Hello. There's a gang culture in the police. Did y'all know right. that? Y'all right. mm -hmm. remember a couple years ago when it was found out that the uh, narcotics division and these other, in the gun recovery unit and these other, uh, uh, elements within the police had these t-shirts with this, some of them with racist iconography, had a skull with a bullet, with a bullet hole in it, dressed up, running the chamber. There are gangs in DC police. And you want to talk about the gang violence amongst the young people? Who's more dangerous to you? If two young people kill each other in DC, you can believe that at least one of them is going to be arrested, tried, and sick. But when this gang, the biggest gang in the city of Washington, kills somebody, they get away with murder. Yeah. So we have to put this thing in context. And so now, I'm going to bring up someone who I've had the pleasure of organizing with over the last few years, one of our great legal minds here in uh, the D.C. movement against racist police terror, Please join me in welcoming Valerie Wexler from Stop Police Terror Project yeah. DC. Woo! 